Hello people and welcome back. We are going to talk about Juno in Pisces. This one is a bit tricky or it can be a bit tricky because your soulmate might require sacrifices for you two to be together. You might really feel sorry for them or you might feel that you need to rescue them from the big world, the big dangerous bad world. He or she could be very evasive or just not from this world and you might really have a tendency to put them on a pedestal. You do need to give them romance, affection, oneness in a relationship. You can easily lose yourself in a partner. You might even attract lovers who are bad for you. You also might have a tendency to attract people who are very sensitive, very emotional. In this combination, you might also feel like you always need to heal your partner or you finding a partner who is actually supposed to heal you. With this placement, you do want someone who is gentle, someone who is romantic, someone who is sensitive. You do want to be able to get lost in them, to get lost in their presence. You do want to experience unconditional love and you do want to care for them. Like you do have this, like you do want to mother them. You do want to care for them forever. You want to heal them. You want to, you want to wrap them in a blanket. You do desire someone who is modest, compassionate and someone who is empathic to you or to your friends, to your family and uh, you know mostly to your needs and obviously you do also want them to do the same for you know again for your friends or your family or for other people for uh, animals you might also have to take care of the practical things in a relationship um you know vice versa they might be quite emotional and vulnerable you know it will be someone who is eager to care for you in any way, in any situation. And the interesting thing is that they might want to shape themselves into whatever form you want them to. They might also have a soft spot for animals. They might love to rescue animals. They do love to, you know, carry for animals and carry for their loved ones, for you know, the person that they love, which is pretty beautiful. They might also have a strong interest for art, music, crafting, painting, acting, filmmaking, or photography. So that can be hints for your soulmate, but this can also be something that you like to do. And again, they do love to carry for people in a very sympathetic way. It is also people who, you know, can be nurses or be doctors because they, they do love to carry so much for other people. Also people who are, you know, homeless people or people who don't have enough money or enough food or it's just, it's just a very, very good placement. It's just, again, it's Pisces, you know, that is how Pisces are. And I do have a mother who are Pisces. I have a brother who is Pisces. I have dated a Pisces, so, you know, yeah, they do have good sides. They do. Again, it depends on if the sign is afflicted or not. And there is also a possibility for your partner to be highly intuitive or maybe even psychic, a medium. You might, you know, idolize this partner. You might like to imagine, you know, how you will get married and it might shape into this like fantasy, like you might hype up things in an imagine, imaginary way, in a fantasy way, like you, yeah, it's something that you might do or the partner might do. Like it's like too much sometimes, it's like very, very fairy tale like But for sometimes this fantasy might be projected into real life. But it can also turn to you actually ignoring the bad flows or that maybe this relationship is not that good for you because again, you shape fantasies into reality or again, this can also be what your partner is doing. This can be your partner's ex relationship. So you need to heal that. If this sign is afflicted, you might, you know, attract a partner who is overly self-sacrificing, you know, to the point of their own damage. They might overwork, they might overgive to, you know, 
to other people. Either this is money or it's like time or it's like other things. So, you know, they get little in return and for them it's like, well, it's fine, you know. But again, it will damage them in the long run. It's this fantasy aspect of it. It might also be someone who is like playing the victim and having this attitude of no one is caring for me, no one is here for me, even to the a lot of people are trying to help them. It might also be someone who is putting themselves first and not caring for anyone at all, making a you know fantasy about themselves and actually forgetting that there is other people out there. It might be someone who refuses to take responsibility of their own doing or of the mistakes that they did. So it might be someone who is you know too much of a dreamer, someone who is living a fantasy and someone who is just not seeing how reality is and not really attempting to get out of that reality. It might be really hard to pull someone out of this reality with displacement. With displacement, it might also be someone who become confused at times, or it might be someone who has, you know, extremely high or low episodes of whatever. And you might have to tell them that everything turns out for the good, you know, don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. You might have to say that to this, to your partner a lot. Or again, this can also be that you want to hear that from a lot of from people all the time. That you feel that you need to hear that all the time. There is also the possibility of alcohol or drug abuse. So the good traits with displacement is romantic, idealistic, dreamy, imaginative, intuitive, creative, and so much more. The bad traits of displacement is prone to self-deception and illusions, prone to live in an imaginary reality, wrong choice of a lot of partners, emotional escapism, emotional manipulation, detachments, bad judgment. You might become bad at judging characters of you know, judging other people, like seeing what intention they actually have. So the best relationship would be a long-term relationship where you seek romance, where you seek affection, where you seek empathy, sympathy, gentleness, modesty, and open giving personality. And someone who is going to love you completely, you know. Someone who's going to hug you all the time. Don't be afraid of that with displacement because it is going to be a romantic, I'm telling you. But this was everything for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment below. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!